To be honest with you, I don't see the Golden State Warriors bringing home another championship. The 2022 NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors, have made the news headlines again. And what experts are saying this time will leave you shell-shocked. As always, ESPN has released its regular season projection model, where they predict where each of the top teams in the NBA are likely to finish. It was all okay till the name Golden State Warriors came up, and their expectations for the Warriors are embarrassing, disrespectful, in fact, puzzling. Why would experts predict this? Stay glued to the end, as we will discuss these predictions and why they were made. Without further ado, let's get to it. When Kendrick Perkins and his company of analysts of the First Take crew predicted that Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors would have barren seasons in the NBA after they had lost Kevin Durant to the Brooklyn Nets and Klay Thompson to injury, the First Take crew of ESPN predicted that the Warriors wouldn't make it to another NBA final, let alone win the championship. Symbolizing the number zero when asked how many titles Steph Curry will win in the next four years. The Warriors, as we know, proved them wrong. Getting back a healthy Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green was that championship recipe needed to win yet another title. Steph, in his post-match conference, called out the first take crew that didn't believe in him, saying, I still remember people holding up the zero. With that said, one would think for sure that the analysts at ESPN must have learned their lesson not to predict that low of the Warriors, who still have the great Steph Curry in his prime, dominating alongside his Warrior dynasty. But here we are again, and this time, what the ESPN analysts have predicted is nothing but embarrassing, disrespectful, and downgrading, somewhat puzzling, because why would they predict such? Recently, ESPN released a win projection model that predicted the number of wins for each team in the NBA, and the biggest surprise of the projection is seeing the Golden State Warriors projected to finish 8th in the Western Conference. I'm not kidding. The defending NBA champions are projected to get 42 wins and finish 8th in the West. What's the reasoning behind this? First of all, I'd like to know what's the reason behind this disrespect. I say so because these same so-called experts predicted that the Warriors would only win 37 games in the 21 season. And humiliating that prediction, the Warriors started the season with the league's best 18-2 record and won all the way to the NBA Finals. And still in the Finals, the Warriors were listed as huge underdogs against Jason Tatum's Boston Celtics. SportsCenter tweeted, The Celtics have a strong chance to beat the Warriors in the NBA Finals, according to ESPN's B. PI. Oh well, we know how that story ended and how their predictions turned out. Another year in the finals, the doubted Steph Curry and the Warriors won their fourth championship. So then, what's the reason? I guess maybe it's because the Warriors have been dominating the NBA and have made many waiting to predict their eventual fall, asking when the Warriors dynasty will end. Or maybe just like the 19-20 season, which saw the Warriors record the fewest wins in a season. The experts think that that season will be repeated. The horrible season that followed up with the Warriors missing the playoffs the next season after the defeat they suffered to the Memphis Grizzlies during the 2021 play-in tournament. Or maybe there's a curse on NBA champions coming back the next season to defend their title. And here's what I found out, there might just be a curse. Looking at teams in NBA history that won the NBA title and finished lower than the fifth seed in the following season, here's what I found. The Lakers team that won the 2020 NBA title also had an incredible dominating dynasty led by the king, LeBron James, followed their winning season by finishing seventh in the West. What happened? This happened because their two best players, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, played a combined 81 games during the 72-game season. Injuries hit the Lakers badly. Also, going back to the 2012 season, where the defending champion Dallas Mavericks finished with only 36 wins. And that Mavs team was so poor in defending their title because of what? Injuries. But then, that's not a curse we can bank on, because only twice in the last decade has there been a team that finished with a significantly lower seed than fifth, and won fewer games just after winning the NBA title. And those teams had major injuries. So the question remains, why? Why are the Warriors projected to have a low number of wins and finish as low as the eighth seed in the West after a fantastic winning season? I can confidently say that the Warriors will come back this season even stronger than the last season they won the title. I could place a good bet on the Warriors that they will make the NBA Finals next season. Why do I say so? One big fact that many have failed to realize is that the Warriors are yet to play a long stretch of games with their entire starting lineup all fit and healthy. Throughout the last season, in which they lifted the championship, the Warriors changed their lineups. 
At the beginning of the season, it was a certain starting five, which changed toward the middle of the season and changed yet again towards the end of the season. Draymond Green was out for two months. Klay Thompson came back mid-season. So much affected the Warriors, but they still dominated their way to the title. Now, for the first time in many years, the Warriors begin their season with the starting five that is all around unbeatable. And that's scary. Klay Thompson will be available on opening night, first time in four years. Draymond and Jordan Poole are both fit and firing on all cylinders. Cylinders, all beef squashed, the coming back of amazing talent in the person of James Wiseman, and of course, the babyface assassin, Steph Curry. You can't call another team starting five better than this. With all said, and a bench that's not short of talent, the Warriors look like one of the top teams in the NBA that are at least guaranteed 54 to 55 wins in the regular season and a certain birth to the playoffs. It's really surprising what these experts are saying about the defending champions. However, ESPN analyst Kelvin Pelton, who released the projection, immediately disowned this model's conclusion. He said, I expect Golden State to outperform this projection and be back near the top of the West. He also added that he expects the Warriors to overcome the departures of Otto Porter Jr. and Gary Payton II. Pelton then noted that these projections were based on average health luck and subjected to playing time expectations. Pelton tried to have it a bit both ways, explaining that if injuries occur, which is a normal human construct, then these projections may be right after all. But aside from that, the Warriors are having another incredible season. Here's one thing I know for certain if the Warriors can keep their players in the bay and also keep them healthy and fit, it might just be a repeat of the same champions last season. Because I don't see any team dominating the NBA this coming season the way I picture the Warriors dominating. There are two things that the Warriors have ahead of every other NBA team, and that's shooting. The Warriors win games right from the three-point line. The Splash Brothers, as they are popularly called, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. These two are a nightmare for any team. They have a combined 98% shooting accuracy. Shooting from any angle on the court, the Splash Brothers are sure to score three points. And then, with the addition of Jordan Poole, now the Warriors have three almost perfect shooters, so they don't need to drive in or bully their way for a dunk. From afar, the game is won. And then, another ace in the bay has to be Steph Curry. I know he's a shooter and all, but damn, this man is a one-man army. He's one of the greatest of all time. He can almost do it all alone. Curry has proven to be the only player in recent years in the NBA capable of winning matches single-handedly. What else can I say about this man? Even the greats of the game have said that the only way to stop Curry is maybe guarding him right from the parking lot. A player whose pregame routine is tunnel shots, how do you want to stop him? When the Warriors were faced with departures and injuries, Curry was the man still pushing away teams in the NBA. The Warriors may finish in the predicted position, or have those few number of wins if only they lose Steph Curry to injury. That's the only way I see it happening. Either way, I expect Steph Curry and his Warriors to yet again prove these ESPN experts wrong and laugh at their faces. What do you think? This prediction by ESPN on the Golden State Warriors, is it one you agree with? Let us know what you think.